Hey everyone, it's Justin Byers, JB Byers Woodworking, and today we're doing an eight foot round table. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but uh, I actually have some allergies that's kind of got me stuffed up, but I'm going to try to make it through this. Uh, the first thing I do is I always clean up all my material. Everything goes through the planer, and uh, the ends get cleaned up and jointed, and I do a dry fit on everything. I didn't have any clamps, so I used some ratchet straps. I had to kind of come up with something to to get this pulled together so I could glue it up. But um, here I'm adding all the biscuits and, and stuff to help get it lined up. Later on, I will put some uh, supports on the bottom side of it. And this is my first time actually cutting a round table. Um, you know, I've seen people make jigs and and things like that for cutting circles, but I just took a piece of OSB and uh, drilled a hole in it from a router and screwed it to the middle of the table and fastened my router to it. And it, it worked really well. Um, I may get a piece of plywood or something uh, later on and, and make a couple of these to just in case I come back across this problem. But this, this, uh, eight foot table was really a, a pretty good size project for the shop um, and I've just I've never made one this big before so it's kind of a, a rather large on taking but uh, here I am this is what I'm talking about I, I routed out for these supports with some oak and um, some sweet gum that I used uh, to inset these and this is just to kind of help keep the boards laminated together um I, you know glued them in there and screwed them in so it'll keep everything together nicely and uh i had a i put a piece of channel um aluminum c channel down the middle of it i'm gonna add you know four pieces of this all the way across but i did not film that because i've got a few projects going on at the same time so I tried to catch as much of this as I could, and I forgot to do the C-channel insert, as well as the apron that I did for this. But uh, here I have a guide set up that I use, and I just slide it over and, and make my next pass to, to, to route out for the um, supports that I have on the bottom side of this. And But I also have um, some jewelry boxes that I'm working on. So in the next video, you'll still see this table in that. Um, and I had some cutting boards that I was working on. But while I was waiting on things to dry, settle, and this and that, I was kind of making use of my time going back and forth between everything. And I had to crawl it. Well, you saw where I was, you know, using my hand plane to clean the top and get the top leveled. But I had to crawl up on this piece to engraved their logo so this is for a flooring company up in hendersonville north carolina that reached out and um asked me to make them a round table and i told them you know hey i can you know inset your logo in the center of it with some outlets and uh, if you'd like i could inlay some of your flooring and tile pieces uh samples that in your logo as well so they were on board with that and they sent me you know, a few pieces of their tile and flooring, laminate flooring and hardwood and vinyl flooring and stuff like that that I used to uh, incorporate into this. So I just routed this out and filled it in with the uh, a blue epoxy. And uh, as you see here, I have the two outlets I'm going to mount at the top. And here's some of their samples that they sent with me. So I got them cut and um, laid in. I don't have them in here. I just, you know, double check and make sure everything fits. But I epoxy these in um, with some black epoxy. But, uh, and then I did the Blue Mountain Floor, you know, of course, in blue, like their logo is. This was, um, I think it took me a, maybe about three weeks to do this or, or so um, between everything else. And I had going on where I was kind of back and forth on other projects, but uh, I'm I'm not a tile guy, and uh, cutting those tile pieces was kind of tricky. But I borrowed a friend's saw, and here I have the epoxy, and uh, here I have everything sanded, and uh, my pieces laid in there, and then I 
they, they're still not in here. I just have them set in so I could send some pictures to the client and uh, make sure they was happy with it. And I actually stained this kind of a light brown, in between light and dark, medium stained colored brown. Um, and then after that, I epoxied the, uh, the tile and the floor pieces and stuff in um, for them. That was the last thing that I did. And here it is, stained and the um, outlets mounted in those are really good outlets i, I double checked those i i actually plugged my miter saw up into them my router and uh, my planer and stuff and they, they have plenty of amperage because they still worked um through those concert or the uh conference table outlets and stuff but this was a fun build so and if you're still here uh if you would hit that like and that subscribe button and keep making